Hi everyone, this is DeFi Dad. Today I'm gonna to walk you through how to stake NXM on Nexus Mutual, which allows us to provide smart contract cover. Now this is a follow-up to a previous tutorial I did on how to buy smart contract cover. So this is the other side of the equation where we are owning a part of the mutual and staking NXM in order to underwrite smart contract cover. So just as a quick refresher, Here's the utility that everyone is familiar with, with Nexus Mutual. So I would be buying myself some cover for one ETH of value that is deposited with one inch, and I'm covering myself for 30 days. I'm paying an annual cost of 5.2%, which is commonly called a premium, and I'm gonna pay 0.0042 ETH in total in order to cover myself. I can also opt to pay it in NXM, which again is the native token that actually powers Nexus Mutual. Another part of Nexus to understand is how the NXM token actually powers the mutual and it aligns the incentives of those that are trying to buy smart contract cover with those who are aiming to provide it and ultimately own and grow the mutual. So you'll notice here that NXM operates on a bonding curve and that bonding curve equation helps to do what I just mentioned, align the incentives of those looking to protect themselves from smart contract bugs with smart contract cover through Nexus Mutual while working with those who aim to provide that cover and ultimately grow the funds of the mutual. Here you can see the actual equation that powers the NXM price, which forms the bonding curve. A and C are constants that were established upon launch of Nexus Mutual MCR refers to minimum capital required. It's measured in ETH, which refers to how much Ether is re required to confidently pay all premiums uh, that have been taken out with Nexus. And then lastly, we have MCR percentage, and this is capital pool divided by MCR. Capital pool is also measured in ETH. And so it's really a measure of the over collateralization of Nexus Mutual. If Let's say we need 100,000 Ether to pay out all of the different uh, active covers that have been taken out. Then we need 130,000 Ether in the capital pool to ensure that it's over collateralized. Now, MCR percentage in this equation is to the power of four, which is what gives the bonding curve its shape. Now, we're going to focus on how I am providing smart contract cover by staking NXM against smart contracts of different DeFi applications. So this is me taking a risk by staking my NXM, but in return, I receive a proportion of the premiums that are being paid by those who are buying smart contract cover. Before I walk you through how to stake NXM and provide smart contract cover, I just wanna call out that I actually recorded part of this earlier today, but I failed to hit record. So I'm actually re-recording the first part of this video so that it makes sense when you watch the second half of it. All right, with that out of the way, let's talk about NXM staking. It is referred to as pooled staking in the Nexus Mutual app. So you go to app.nexusmutual.io, you can click on pooled staking. This is all assuming that you've already gone through the KYC process, and so you've essentially become a member of the Mutual. When we use the staking dashboard, we are deciding upon which contracts or which DeFi applications and protocols are we willing to underwrite so that others can buy smart contract cover. Now, you can see here that I've deposited 320 NXM, but I have a staking power of 3200 NXM. So whatever I deposit, I can actually stake up to 10X the amount, and I can put a maximum of, in this case, 320 NXM against up to 10 contracts, or I can put less than that. The reason is that probabilistically, it's unlikely that all 21 of these contracts I've staked against will all have a smart contract bug at once and hence require a claim. So let's look through what I'm already staking against, and then we'll talk about how I can stake against more contracts if I'm willing to risk more NXM in order to provide smart contract cover. So I'm gonna click on add contracts, and this is where I'll find all the different uh, DeFi applications that are available to provide cover for. 
So I'm going to choose synthetics. Let's choose uh, BZX and let's choose Ave and Uniswap V2. So if I hit continue, you can now see we've added one, two, three, four contracts at the top. So these, when I say contract, I just mean application that I'm aiming to provide DeFi insurance for. And I currently have zero NXM staked against them. But if we scroll down further, you can see all the other different applications where I have provided smart contract cover. So you can see starting with Tornado Cash that I've staked 100 NXM. With Open, I have 100 NXM. With Gnosis Multisig, I have 100 NXM. And then I even have more down below with Set Protocol at, at 160 NXM. Balancer, I've provided 260 NXM of cover. So the way this works, if I'm adding cover, and this is again coming from someone who already is staking, but it looks very similar otherwise if you're new to this, you would just go here, click add contracts, choose which contracts or which applications you wanna cover. I'll add YAM, hit continue. And now I come back and I can specify how much am I going to stake? Now I have to stake a minimum of 20 NXM and then the maximum is based on what is the total of NXM that I have staked. So if I, if I delete this, you can now see that I have 320 NXM staked uh, and I have no remaining NXM staking power to use here. But if I was going to top up with just 20 NXM, now I have additional staking power because 20 times 10 is another 200 NXM of staking capacity. So if I go below, I had uh, one, two, three, four, five. So with uh, another 200 of uh, NXM here to stake, I could go in and put in 40, 40, 40, 40, 40. Now you see that I have zero remaining. So that's my staking power is what I'm calling it versus the actual NXM that I have deposited. 340 NXM deposited into staking, but I have 3,400 of NXM uh, staking power. Now for these new contracts, I could just remove some of these. So now I have another 200 NXM here remaining, and I can spread those across these other applications. So I could put in another 20, 20 here, 20 there. You guys get the point. It's up to 200. I still have 140 NXM remaining here. Now, the other thing to be mindful of is I cannot stake more than 340 NXM against a single contract because 340 is the maximum amount of NXM that could be paid out if there was a smart contract bug and if there were claims that that ended up emptying out all of the NXM that's underwriting the smart contract cover. So I have 140 of staking power remaining. Let's go down to the bottom here. If I were to try to put 140 against this, that's 400 NXM. And if we scroll up to the top here, you can see that 340 NXM is the maximum per contract. You can see here, top up with 60 NXM or stake 340 NXM maximum per contract. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this and I'm gonna add, let's say another 80 here and then another 60 here. Pay attention to the number here while you're trying to figure out these numbers. So if I remove this, I'm back to 60, but if I go back to maker and I add 60, now I've maxed out my staking ability. And this is all based upon me adding an additional 20 NXM to my staking deposit. So if I hit continue, I am locking up my NXM for 90 days. And if you unstake from a contract, you will enter a 90 day lockup period. During this time, you continue to receive NXM rewards, but not shield mining incentive rewards and can still lose some or all of your deposit if a successful claim is made. 
it, it means that I'm locked in for 90 days. So if I'm gonna do this, I better be prepared to use that NXM for up to 90 days. Even if I unstake it, which is possible here, if I go back to here, I can choose to unstake this value. And you see here, when staking NXM, you are exposing yourself to risk. If a claim is paid on a smart contract, you staked on, you could lose your deposit. So I could unstake, but I'm still locked in for 90 days. Um, I'm locked in for 90 days no matter what. If I unstake, I guess I remove that risk of having a payout, but I'm still locked in for 90 days. Normally, you just leave your NXM and then you earn uh, a portion of 50% of the premium that's being paid by NXM by smart contract cover buyers. The last part of this is that shield mining rewards from incentivized contracts must be claimed manually from the staking rewards dashboard on a weekly basis and they don't roll over week to week. It means that if you are using one of the contracts like Keeps, uh, it's uh, the Keep team and it's for trustless BTC, if you stake against their contracts, you're also earning Keep, which means you have to manually claim it every week. So I'm gonna mark off, I understand the maximum I could lose here is 340 NXM. Now, because I only had 320 NXM, it's gonna require that I buy more NXM to complete the staking. I'm not gonna do this right now because I actually already did this earlier and I'm simply re-recording this so that you can see what this looks like. Now, assuming that I already had another 20 NXM to stake over here on the right, you can see that I'm starting with a staking power of 3,200 NXM. I'm gonna end up with a staking power of 3,400 NXM. I would have started with 320 NXM deposited and ended with 340 NXM. And then the number of uh, DeFi apps or contracts I've staked against is 21. That was before. And since I added to those contracts, I remain uh, at 21. So this is where my re-recorded version is going to end and the next part of the video will be continuing onward, having staked NXM to show you what it looks like after the fact and how you can track your staked NXM in Zapper. All right, we're back just a few minutes later. My staking has gone through. So now you can see I have 3,200 of NXM staking, my 3,200 NXM staking power versus the 320 NXM that's actually staked. So this is 10 times the amount of NXM that's staked against 21 contracts. Uh, so far, I've earned 0.15 NXM. This was due to previous staking that I had done. And you can see below all of the different contracts that I'm staking against. Also, if you connect your Ethereum wallet to Zapper under deposits, you can see how much NXM you have staked. So you can track the value of your NXM, even though it's staked versus just holding it in your wallet. All right, so just a few risks I wanna cover uh, before we go. Uh, number one, there is still smart contract risk in using Nexus. So all of this is powered by smart contracts built on Ethereum. So yes, Nexus is prone to that risk, even though it protects all of us from it. Second, any of the NXM that you stake, we called out earlier, you can actually lose if there was a bug payout. So if there was a claim and those that held DeFi insurance were to make a claim, your staked NXM could be paid out to those that hold smart contract cover. That's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe at defidad.com.